listed. Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malentrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Join me at the market site in Times Square. We have Chris Dearborn. He's a managing director on NASDAQ's market intelligence desk for a Black Friday retail review. Chris, great to join, have you join me as always. And it's also a good thing that you're covering the retail sector. <laughs> That's been quite the story throughout the entire year. And I, I was reading Adobe said consumers spent $4 billion on Thanksgiving deals yesterday. That's amazing, record setting. Unbelievable, right? So Black Friday used to be the all-encompassing shopping day. Remember, 40% of retail sales come in the qu fourth quarter, and that kind of gives you a good footprint of where they're going to be profit-wise coming into this earnings season. You know, it's Black Friday traditionally was when retailers moved from the red for most of the year to the black. And they can trace its roots back to 1924 uh, when Macy's had their very first Christmas Day parade. And then really the, toy, the name was coined in the 60s, and that's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. Retailers turning to a profit, and that's why the consumer is all important here. You know, if you don't have consumer spend, then really what your outlook is, is what's gonna happen with the markets here. Mm -hmm. Consumer spend's a big driver, not only for the stock market, but also for GDP. And as long as the consumer's out there spending, they have confidence, sentiment is positive. There's a lot of good things going on here. So we wanna see the people out here in Times Square and all the stores getting out there and getting those deals, which are good for them, and also good for the companies that are selling those items. And now we have Cyber Monday. It's thrown into the mix. Right, it went from Black Friday, a one-day event, to a five-day event, right? Most stores were open on Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I don't know how, but they were, right? And you have people shopping, you have Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday, and the sales overall for this five-day cyber event is really kind of a good foot look forward mm -hmm. of how the consumer is going to continue to spend. Yep. And as long as consumer spending, things are looking upward. And then who's going to be the beneficiary of that? people who own those stocks. Yeah, and you know what? I mean, a trillion dollars is what's expected for right. holiday 2019. I mean, I mean, that's at the NRF said that they're gonna spend, people are looking to spend more than 4% than did last year, over $1,047 per person. Yeah. You know, so with that, you know, if people are spending, it means they have more money in their pocket. The more money they have in their pocket, you know, they feel good about themselves. You know, you've got some look ahead, you've got non-farm payrolls next week, you have unemployment mm -hmm. at historical lows, paychecks are getting a little bit bigger. Stock markets are trading at all-time yeah. highs. You know, as long as people are out there and they feel confident they're going to spend. If people, if this was 2006, seven, and eight, you know, people were not confident. They weren't mm -hmm. out there spending. So as long as the spend is there, and she's out there buying retail for presents or for herself, then what you're looking forward to is confidence not only for the stock market for the country abroad and yeah. that's a big deal I mean, right now let's take a look at our first chart here this is a nasdaq 100 that is quarter to date right. the top performing index that's beating s p dow and the nasdaq yep. comp it really is you know the the main headline for the most of the year has been china u.s trade relations mm -hmm. right and you can see from here if this is the one year chart you can look back over here in february where we sold off january february coming into the beginning of the year when those trade tariffs start to first take place. You know, when, when the issue between China and the U.S. was not only the intellectual pro uh, property, which is still a big issue, but everything from agriculture to manufacturing. And the biggest beneficiaries of this on the NASDAQ 100 are a lot of companies that do business in China, manufacture in China, and then sell their products here back in the U.S. So as long as people are spending, the rhetoric on the China trade tariffs are positive for a phase one deal, even starting to look a little more forward to a phase two possibly getting down. To getting done, what you want here is, again, sentiment. Mm -hmm. Sentiment is the key here, and this positive sentiment. You see higher highs made in the NASDAQ 100 membership across the board, you know, Apple, Microsoft, all making trillion dollar companies. Mm -hmm. you know, so what's gonna be pushing that higher? Those are the companies who have the large market caps, they're gonna move these market cap weighted indexes higher and higher. And you're gonna have the others playing catch up. Right. And this is going to pull the index higher are going to pull all those other memberships. It's not a matter of the, you know, the, the nose or the tail. You know, it's the question of what's the breadth of everybody, and it's mm -hmm. continuing to move higher. Even though we're off just a little bit today, it's going to be a light volume trading day. Look for this index as long as sentiment is positive, rhetoric is positive on the trade talks to continue to make higher highs. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Holiday spend, what is it, six weeks? Maybe a little bit shorter. A little bit shorter. It's a little bit year. shorter this week. But yeah, the companies year. that have been performing well will continue to perform well Correct. in regards to the six days. Um, that consumer spend just, I think it's $1.008 trillion over a trade. That's the market cap of Apple. Right. That's how much consumers are spending in that six-week period. That's amazing. It's Let's go to our next chart. Speaking of the consumer, consumer so here discretionary. We are. And if we actually take a look at a couple of stocks up on the wall, mm -hmm. Activision up 
three quarters of a percent. Ross up just over half a percent. Those are discretionary names. Yes, Activision is a technology company, but there is, it's good. The video games are the key here. Yeah. The, the, the retail in sector is strong, right? So a positive, this index is very good here. The green line is the XLF. Uh, it's the consumer discretionary. Spider, and what you're looking at is the 50 and 200 day. It's trading significantly higher. It's been kind of range bound since the beginning of the summer, We're looking to make those all time highs again. And what you're looking for here with consumer spend is to push them higher. So, same thing we had 40%, like I said before, of profits of sales come in this four and a half week period. And if these sales are good, if the people are out there spending, you know, you're going to see this index. And you're going to see the other indexes move higher with it. There's some heavyweights in this index, you know. And with the spend, you know, what's going to happen? People are not going to shy away from buying that item if they feel good about themselves. Am I going to buy that three thousand dollar laptop? Am I going to buy that Apple Watch? Am I going to go out and buy those uh, puff coats that people want? Right? What's going to be out there? And people are going to spend a little bit more and take that risk because they think they can handle it because their paycheck is secure, they feel good about their jobs, they're making a little bit more money than they were before, and overall, the consumer, she feels good. And that's the key. If you feel good about yourself, you feel good about your job, you feel confident in your way of life right now, you're gonna buy and splurge on that next extra item. All right, you have to pay attention to Lululemon then if you're feeling <laughs> good and you're working out, and that's another yep. NASDAQ 100 constituent. Thank you so much as always for joining us on Trade Talks. Happy Friday. And thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.